Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in once again. Got another great video for you guys. But before we get into the content of this video, if you haven't already, please like this video. Please share this channel out and subscribe to the channel. For those of you that don't know, this is a car, an automobile. Now, there are a group of individuals here in the United States who believe that they're above the law and that they don't need a driver's license to drive. They don't need a driver's license to operate a motor vehicle and things of that nature. So today we're going to be looking at some things that Morris Americans like to say while um, they're at a traffic stop. And we're also going to look into some definitions to see if there's any legitimacy to any of the things that these Morris Americans like to say. Now, if you know anything about Morris Americans, you know that they love to look into dictionaries and, you know, get definitions of words. So we're going to take a look at one of their favorite dictionaries, the Black's Law Dictionary, and see if there's any validity to any of the things that they say while being detained by the police at a traffic stop. Now, here are some things that Morris Americans like to say. Driving is a commercial term. I am traveling, not driving. I am not driving. I am not for hire. My right is to travel. Now, these are some common phrases that Morris Americans like to say when they have some type of police contact, when they're being pulled over by the police. So like I stated, Morris Americans believe that driving is a commercial term. And if they're not driving for like work or things of that nature, or like, um, let's say like being a cab or something that they don't need a license to operate the car that they're driving. So we're going to look into some definitions of some words and see if there's any validity to any of the statements that Morris Americans like to say so we can put to bed any confusion and hopefully um, Morris Americans, if they see this video, they'll learn something from what I'm about to show. Sir, when I am not for hire. For the record, I am operating in a not for hire capacity. I'm giving you 30 for, seconds. By engaging in for any form of transportation. For the record, I am not operating in a for hire capacity for engaging in a form of transportation or other commercial use of highways. Please acknowledge that you have been informed. My, I, my nationality is Mormon. My, I've already been through this at the time. So what is that mean? Here you go. And where did you get this? My nationality is Mormon. Okay. Well, you still have to have a Michigan driver's license. To drive here in the state of Michigan. You don't have that with you? My right is to travel. I have the right to travel. You have the right to travel. Everybody has the right to travel, but you also have to have, like, Michigan state law, driver's license. You have that, sir. Breaking the entry! Breaking the entry! Breaking the entry! No! Don't break my window! 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 Breaking the entry! Breaking the entry! Grand Theft Auto! Grand Theft Auto! Open it up now! Grand Theft Auto! Grand Theft Auto! Grand Theft Auto! Grand Theft Auto! Don't come out! 
My nationality is Mormons. My nationality is Mormons. Do not break my automobile. Oh, damn it! Damn it! Out of car right now. You're under damn arrest, it. sir. You're under arrest. You are yeah. making misrepresentation, sir. Can I, can I address? Uh, yes. All, all, this, all, all this, all this, um, sir, and all this stuff. That's disrespectful because you know that we're Mormons. So don't tell me about no sir and all that stuff like you're, you're making that disrespectful? Respectful position. We're not sirs. How is that we're disrespectful? Not a, I'm not a sir. You don't call me sir in, in, in your in your little in your little legal tone as if as if you, you're respecting somebody. You ain't respecting anybody you're talking crazy you about sir. You ain't pulling up. My child, this is your prophet, Drew Ali from up above. What in the doohickey is wrong with you? There is nothing disrespectful about this woman calling you sir. Sir is not a term of disrespect. Sir is not a term of disrespect. You're an idiot! Okay, let me just interject real quick. I would just like to state for the record that this man, Cujo, from Canaan Moors, he is an absolute moron he really just got mad that this lady respectfully called him sir like there's seriously something wrong with these sovereign citizens this man just got mad that she called him sir what the heck is wrong with you and the law that you're understanding yeah. is the law that you're understanding the supreme law of the land or is the law that you are understanding the statutes ordinances and acts created by the states. I think that those are both the same thing. There's no, not a not separation. Well, you and I are going to have to disagree with that, or disagree on that. In my opinion, but it's by the definition. Okay. It's not. It's like what words mean. Like because you say like it's just a dictionary when you say that. But if we don't know what words mean, how do we even talk? Okay, so like, I we have to. Like, how does that? Like, I don't get that. Like when you say that. Yeah. Like, we have to know what the word means. So when the Grand Sheik said a statue, like, by definition, a statue would be this. So, and, and like, I feel like you ignore the definitions. No. And we just go around with general terms. Like, no. that's just, a, or a saying, or but, but not by the true definition of what it is. So the law, as it is written, right, we have statutes. Is that an opinion? Can, I, can you cite the court case for what you just stated? Um, it's in the rules of statutory construction that are found. There we go again with them statutes. There we go again. But you want to write the law. That's not a law. Statutes are not laws. You by definition. You by definition. I'm not, I'm not debating. I'm saying by definition in a dictionary. A statute is literally a law that's written by the no, law. No, 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 no. no, no, no by not by definition in a dictionary. I'm not debating. I'm just saying what the dictionary says. Okay. That's all for that. Okay. I, have, I have a question. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Um, no, I mean, it's the thing that you're saying is not true. Um, the, there no, I'm, saying what, I'm saying what the dictionary says. I'm not let's saying... Let's look at what the dictionary says that a statute is. Okay. Let's get it. Let's get it. That's what I'm talking about. What is a statute? A statute is a written law passed by a legislative body. So a statute is a law. So as I stated, we'll be using the Black's Law Dictionary, fourth edition, to look up some words um now we know we have to use a law dictionary because when you're being detained by the police and if you know you have to go to court you can't use a regular dictionary to define um different words and terms that are used in law so we'll be using the black's law dictionary this is one of 
Moorish American's favorite dictionary. So we're going to use this dictionary to see if any of the things that they say hold up to the meanings in this dictionary. So the first word we're going to be looking at is vehicle. Vehicle that in or on which a person or thing is or may be carried from one place to another, especially along the ground, also through the air. Okay, so we see that a vehicle is something that a person is carried in, which is obviously a car. When you're being pulled over by the police, you're driving a vehicle. That vehicle is carrying you along the ground, which would be the road. Any carriage, conveyance, or other artificial contravene used or capable of being used as a means of transportation or land. Okay, so now we we see what a vehicle is. We see what a vehicle is. So let's move on to the next thing. So the next thing we're going to be looking at is license. Because Morris Americans believe that they don't need to possess a license to operate a motor vehicle or to drive a car because they like to use, they like to make statements saying things like they're traveling, not driving. So to them, as I stated before, driving is a strictly a commercial term. So if they're not driving for like a job, then to them, that means they're traveling and they're not driving and you don't need a license to travel. So that this is like this is the rhetoric and that they like to use when being detained by a police during a traffic stop. So we're going to just take a look at what license means according to the law. OK, see license motor vehicle. So this is a motor vehicle license that we're looking at motor vehicle. License to operate a motor vehicle is mere privilege and not a contract or property right. Now, as you can see, having a license is not, you don't automatically just, anybody, can, you don't just automatically have a license. You have to go out and obtain that license, pass a driver's test, and prove that you are capable of operating a motor vehicle. And as this says, a license is a privilege, meaning that privilege can be taken away from you if you don't follow the rules. So keep that in mind, Morris Americans. Your license can be taken away from you if you don't follow the rules because a license is a mere privilege. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at, look into, oh, one other thing. They, they, most Americans also like to say things like they're not contracted with the, uh, with the DMV, the Department of Motor Vehicles. And they think that if you have a license with, if you have a license, that means you're under contract. But this thing is clearly says, and not a contract, and not a contract or property rights. So you're not under contract per se. Well, that's that's what this definition is saying. Let's move forward. Okay, the next definition we're going to look at is car, because. When you're operating a motor vehicle, that motor vehicle is a car. So when you're being pulled over by the police, 
you are driving a car, even though most Americans believe that they're not driving, they're traveling. So to them, they're traveling in their car. They're not driving their car. Well, let's just take a look at the definition of car. Car. And they also, they, 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 they tend not to even use the term car. They like to use things like, say things like personal conveyance, because they think that's like some type of loophole. You know, they like to do um, verbal acrobats. They're verbal, they, 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 they like to, you know, say things that they think is going to get them out of trouble by not saying certain things and saying other things. But either way, car, a vehicle primarily intended to transport for transportation of persons or freight. A vehicle moved on wheels. So, Morris Americans, when you're being pulled over by the police, you're not in a personal conveyance. You are in a car, not a personal conveyance. Saying that is not going to have the police back up off of you and not give you that citation that they're about to give you. So verbal acrobats, it doesn't work. The so verbal acrobatics doesn't work. Okay, now this is a main thing here because most Americans, they like to say that they're not driving, they're traveling. So that's a main thing that they like to say because they think that if the officer believes them when they say that they're not driving the car, they're traveling in the car, that they then don't need that license and that they'll be let go scot-free because they're not breaking any laws because they're not driving. So we're going to look at the definition of driving to see if what they believe is correct. Drive. To impel motion and quicken. So I will believe, let me just read it, the whole thing. To impel motion and quicken. To compel, urge, or move in some manner or direction. To control a motive power as of a motor vehicle. Okay, so as you can see, Morris Americans, you are operating, when you're being pulled over by the police, you're operating a motor vehicle. Now, in the definition of drive, it says to control the motive power as of a motor vehicle. So you are controlling the motive power of a motor vehicle. So you are, in fact, driving and not traveling. So saying things like, I, I am traveling, not driving, is not going to get you out of the hot seat. So you guys just need to accept the facts. This is the dictionary that y'all love to use, the Black's Law Dictionary, as you can see. Is I'm not making this stuff up. So, you know, I, I, you know, you get your guy, you, you guys get your information from a lot of different people, grand sheets or whatever, and they're feeding you false information. All you have to do is just do the research for yourself, and it'll save you the headache of getting your window smashed open because you want to say things like, I am traveling, not driving. I don't need a license. I don't need a license. You know, because the, 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 the police. They know that you're spewing ignorance and they don't want to hear it because the rest of the world knows that when you're behind the wheel of a car, you're operating a motor vehicle. You're driving. So saying things when pulled over 
like I'm traveling, not driving. I don't need a license. It's not going to get you out of trouble and it will not hold up in court. Because when you look at the legal definition of drive, it says to control the motive power as of a motor vehicle. So there's no getting around that. You guys are driving, not traveling. So stop saying things like that. It's not going to help your case. Now let's look at driver. Driver. One employed in conducting or operating a coach, carriage, wagon, or other vehicle with horse, mule, or animals, or a bicycle, tricycle, or motor car, though not a street railroad car. A person actually doing driving, whether employed by owner to drive, or driving his own vehicle. So you can see when you're behind the wheel of a car, you are a driver. You're a person that is driving his own vehicle. Driving to urge forward under guidance, compelled to go in a particular direction, urge onward. Now that urge onward in the direction, that's when you're behind the wheel. The car is doing that. When you're hitting the gas of the car, you're urging onward in that car. You are driving. You're not traveling. You are driving. So, Morris Americans, if you happen to see this video, use this video. Use this information as... To, to learn so you won't make the same mistakes that you see other Morris Americans making when you see them on YouTube getting their windows smashed in because they want to say crazy stuff to the police like I am traveling not driving I don't need a license I don't need a license to travel my right is to travel those type of tactics don't work because when you look at the legal definitions of the things that you guys say, you're just flat out wrong. You're just flat out wrong. Now let's keep going. Okay, now we're going to look at license. License, certificate or document itself, which gives permission. Now, the document that the, the, the license is giving you, the, li the license that you need to drive a car, the driver's license. So that license is giving you permission to drive that automobile, to drive that car, to drive that motor vehicle. So you need permission. And... The permission is the license itself. That means when you get the license, that means you have the permission to operate that motor vehicle. Constitution, constitutional law and law of contracts. A permission by a competent authority to do some act which without such authorization would be illegal. So pretty much, and this is still under license. So pretty much, if you don't have a license, that, me that means driving without that license is illegal. So you need a driver's license to drive a car, to operate a motor vehicle. Without that license, you don't have permission to do that, and that is illegal. Once again, back to the contract stuff. 
a license is not a contract between the state and the licensee, but is a mere personal permit. Once again, as you can see, it's not a contract. That's another thing that you guys like to say. I'm not under contract with you. Okay, but if you have a license, that's still, it's, it's still saying that you're not under contract. Okay, now, we're going to look at travel. Now, the reason we're going to look at travel is because we know most Americans like to say, I am traveling, not driving. Which we just seen is incorrect. You are, if, if you're behind the, the, the wheel of a motor vehicle, you are in fact driving. According to this dictionary, you are driving. Travel. To go from one place to another at any dis at a dis at a distance to journey travel to go from one place to another at a distance to travel. So technically, when you're driving, you are also traveling. But to say I'm dry I'm traveling and not driving is just flat out incorrect. So that's not, you can't use that to get out of the hot seat. It's not going to help your argument. So all it's going to do is frustrate the officer. And, you know, at that particular time when you're at a traffic stop, the officer, they have authority over you. So all you're going to do is piss off the person that has authority over you. And that's never a good thing. When you're being pulled over by the police, you want to make these encounters as smooth as possible with everything that's going on in the world today. You don't want to piss the officer off. Just give them what they're asking for. If they're asking for a license and registration, just give them that. Don't start saying I'm driving and I'm traveling, not drive. They don't want to hear stuff like that. And if you don't have a license, just say that to them. That way they'll give you a ticket and possibly you'll be able to just go on your way and then you go to court and fight the case. And another thing you guys need to stop doing is trying to hold court in the street with the officers, because that's not the time nor place. When you get your ticket, you get a court date, you go to that court date, then you argue your case, but you don't argue your case in the street. All that does is make the situation far worse and like I said in today's day and times you want to make these police encounters as smooth as possible don't let your ego get your window broken and don't let the false information that you have learned get your window broken because what you believe to be true doesn't mean that it's actually true and I've just proven that we're going through these different definitions in this dictionary. Now, another thing that most Americans like to say is they don't have to abide by statutes and statutes and codes are laws. And that, you know, the rules when it went in, in terms of um, operating a motor vehicle, those are not laws. They're just statutes and codes and they don't have to abide by statutes and codes because statutes and codes are constitutional and this and that. They, they just go off into a whole thing. So we're going to look at statutes and get the definition for statute. Statute, an act of a legislator declaring, commanding, or prohibiting something. A particular law enacted and established by the will of the legislative department of government. So a statute is a law, Morris Americans. So you can't say that statutes and codes aren't laws and that you don't have to listen to them because that is incorrect 
you see a particular law enacted and established by the will of the legislative department i just hope you marsh americans take this information and just let it soak in and hopefully all of the false information that you guys have been taught will just wash off and in the end it'll help you because you won't say crazy things to these officers when you have contact with them and your encounter with the but with the officer will be much smoother criminal statute an act of the legislator as an organized body relating to crime or its punishment <laughs> Okay, next thing we're going to look at is code. Now we're looking at code because, like I said, most Americans like to say that statutes and codes aren't laws and they, they don't have to listen to statutes and codes. Code, a collection, compendium, or revision of laws. So a code is actually a law. A code is a revision of of a law which makes it law so morris americans you guys you must abide by the statutes and codes okay there's no getting around it there's no getting around it hopefully like i said some of the misinformation that you guys have been taught you guys can just throw it away use this very video use this information because i didn't make this information up this is coming out of the black's laws dictionary that y'all love to use y'all always want to quote black's laws dictionary oh black's law this black's law well here it is this is coming from your black's law dictionary this is coming from it so the traveling not driving all of the stuff that y'all like to say has been squashed in this video you can't refute the information it is what it is these are the actual undeniable facts now like i said the big thing with marsh americans getting pulled over by the police is the the biggest flaw that they make with the ideology and the stuff that they spew is to um i'm traveling and not driving so i'm gonna go back to this just so it can really hit home to you guys so you guys can see that you guys are in fact when you're behind a motor when you you're, when you're operating a motor vehicle when you're driving that car you guys are actually driving you're, you're driving and traveling at the same time you're doing both it's not one or the other you're doing both. You're driving and traveling. But to think that just because you want to say that to the officer, I'm driving, not traveling, I'm traveling, not driving, is going to get you out of the hot seat. That is not going to work. These officers have the law behind them. So you just making up something, that's not going to work in your favor. And then you being extra resistant to the cop because your ego is in the way and now they have to bust out your car window and drag you out you all you're doing is causing yourself heartache that doesn't need to happen it's, it's just it doesn't need to happen because you're gonna you're gonna be on the losing end of that you're gonna be on the losing end of that argument every single time the powers that be they're not going to let you be right. So you just need to fall in line and do things the correct way. And your life will be less troublesome. I don't, I mean, I don't know anybody on this planet who doesn't want uh, a life without troubles. Like you guys bring the trouble on yourself. And is, is there's no need for that. There's no need for that. Yeah. Your grand sheiks. And all and the ones that tell you uh, your sovereign citizens and all that type of stuff, stop listening to them. Stop listening to them. 
you go do your research while well, i've done the research for you and you can see drive to impel motion and quicken to compel urge or move in some manner or direction to control the motive power as of a motor vehicle there's no arguing this so when you are behind the wheel of a car of a motor vehicle when you're hitting that gas you are controlling the motive power of a motor vehicle then you can't you can't argue this i'm going to say it once again morris americans when you are being pulled over by the police when you say things like i'm traveling not driving you are incorrect because if you look at the definition it clearly tells you drive to control the motive power as of a motor vehicle when you turn the ignition when you when you get in that motor vehicle and you put the key in the ignition and turn that ignition and hit put the put the car into drive and hit the gas you are controlling the motive power of a motor vehicle there is no getting around that morris americans please take this video and use it as an educational tool so that way you cannot it'll help you stop getting into trouble with the police